Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Alpharetta. My name is Lauren Wynn. Let's get started. Like a heartbeat skip, like an open page, like a one-way trip on a narrow plane. AHS-TV presents The Morning Show. Bringing you the latest on what's happening at AHS, the latest music, hottest trends, most effective apps, our scores, news, and more. So sit back, it's been a long week, and power up your morning with The Morning Show. Alfreda, my name is Lauren Wynn. Let's get started. The Media Center will distribute services on Thursdays during both lunches. Also, if you have any issues with your device, please come in the morning before school or during lunch. Please do not come during class to receive your device or to resolve any issues. Congratulations to the following 15 orchestra students who were accepted into the GMEA Allstate Orchestra. Andrew Mulia, cello. Adam Wang, cello. Daniel Barquette, double bass. Joy Best, double bass. Olivia Barker, harp, Alan Ko, viola, Michelle Cho, viola, Richard Cho, viola, Casey Shia, viola, Jenny Hyo, violin, Eileen Liu, violin, Sarang Pujari, violin, Erin Cho, violin, Vivia Lung, violin, Anna Ju, violin, Zachary Plimpton, alternate harp, and Derek Wang, alternate violin. Yearbook staff applications for the 2018-2019 school year are available in room 2212. Please see Ms. Flowers if you're interested in being a member of the staff. The deadline for the applications is Friday, January 19th. Are you seriously interested in film production? You all know The Morning Show, but let's say you want to actually produce movies, actual short films like you see on YouTube, then the new film class is just right for you. In the new film class, you will apply your production skills to a whole new level. It's definitely a team effort. A collaboration is probably the most important thing. You will collaborate with writers, direct actors, and even recruit musicians to score and perform the soundtrack for your movie. If you are a storyteller or someone who wants to produce stories, then this is the perfect class for you. If you are passionate about all things film, video, or media, then explore the audio video pathway. For more information, go to ahsvideo.com. That's a wrap. Please remember that off-campus lunchtime privileges only apply to anchor time days and flex stickers only apply to the period that you have an off-campus class. The 2017 region champion and state quarterfinalist patches for the Letter Jackets have arrived. All varsity football player Letterman need to come to the gym to see Coach Nichols to receive your patches. Thank you and go Raiders! The 2017 region champion and state quarterfinalist patches for Letter Jackets have arrived. All varsity football Letterman need to come to the gym to see Coach Nichols to receive your patches. Thank you and go Raiders! Good morning, Alfreda. I'm Matthew George. If you ever wondered where to find help around Alfreda High School, you need to look no further than our very own work-based learning program. Work-based learning is a program that allows students to have real-world experience in the workforce through internships outside of the classroom. Internships will vary between working in a career or helping out a teacher. Coach Davidson, a teacher here at Alfreda High School, is there to help the students find the internship best fit for them. I help them place them in internships if they come to me telling me that they are interested in maybe a hospital or video production. I'm able to go out there and work in the community and build relationships and partnerships so that when those students come to me, I can place them in those areas of interest. Here at Alfreda High School, teachers and staff encourage students to be prepared for the real world. Work-based learning is a successful program used to enhance students' employability skills while allowing them to lend a helping hand. 
I'm Matthew George with The Morning Show. Teams, if you have posters you want hung around the school, please drop them off to Mr. Bullen in room 3316 for approval. Boys Golf Informational Parent Meeting is Monday, January 29th at 6 p.m. in room 4327. The boys golf team will have a quick parent meeting on Monday, January 29th at 6 p.m. in Coach Lacey's room, 4327. He will discuss the requirements to participate in tryouts, team size, and player fees. The first prom committee meeting is this Friday, January 26th in the Media Center at 7.30 a.m. The plastic bags from the grocery store. The plastic fork from your lunch. The plastic pen you lost during class. Since plastic can't break down, where do all these products end up? Much of it will travel through rivers and streams into the ocean and join one of five major oceanic garbage patches that revolve around the five gyres of the earth. As the human population continues to increase, the input of these plastic pollutants will only go up. This poses a significant problem for aquatic wildlife as it interferes with their habitats, feeding, and daily life. Thankfully, movements committed to cleaning up the ocean are gaining momentum. Take the Ocean Cleanup Project. Designed by Dutch entrepreneur Boyan Slot. The ocean cleanup uses the natural motion of the ocean gyres to filter out floating plastic debris from the sea. Innovations like this, combined with individual efforts to use less plastic, bring humanity closer to its goal of making a cleaner planet for wildlife and people alike. In this past Saturday's robotics tournament, Team Black came in second, which let them move on to the state tournament at Clayton State University on February 24, 2018. Team Eclipse, an all-girl rookie team, placed fifth, which allowed them to be invited to a tournament on February 2nd at Blessed Trinity Catholic High School. A success would send them to state. Congratulations to the two teams, and thank you for all the hard work by all three teams. The Lady Raiders basketball team won two games this weekend, Friday 59-38 over Centennial and Saturday 61-8 versus Cambridge. The record is now 16-3 overall and 11-2 in the region. Scoring leaders for Saturday Cambridge game, Kendall Phillips 12 points, Mahima Sangtani 10 points, Grace Knutson and Juju Maduka 8 points each, Gogo Maduka and Sydney Ward 7 points each, Nas Martinez 5 points, Jalen Tillerson 4 points. Their next game is Tuesday at Chattahoochee. The Lady Raiders basketball program is having a pink out this Thursday night at home versus Pope High School. We would love to see all the fans come out in pink attire. $10 pink t-shirts will be for sale with all profits going to charity. Senior night for the Raiders is Friday at home versus North Atlanta. <laughs> You're showing all your friends? I love you all. I love you. Uh, I can't talk, remember? You're supposed to not talk too much. I know you want to talk to your friends, sweetie, but you, you can't right now. Just be quiet and like, you can send a picture, but you're not supposed to talk, okay? I love you. You, lo you said I love you? I know. I'm Lauren Wynn, and you've been watching The Morning Show. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.